Hello everyone, I'm Lin. Today, I'll be talking about petty cash funds. What is a petty cash fund? Petty cash fund is an amount of cash kept on hand to pay minor expenditures like postage for small mailings and purchase of miscellaneous office supplies. Petty cash fund generally involves three activities. First, establishing the fund. Secondly, making payments from the fund. And lastly, replenishing the fund. Allow me to illustrate an example for this. Suppose that on the 1st of July, Central Park Cafe writes a $100 check for petty cash fund and assigns it to Ted as the custodian. Consequently, a journal entry is recorded by debiting petty cash as it increases and crediting cash as it decreases. Although cash decreases, there is no change in total assets as cash remains in the business. After establishing the fund, cash is used to make payments for qualifying expenditures in two different ways. Cash is directly taken from the fund to make payments or employees can seek reimbursement from the fund for payments that they make personally. In both of the ways, Ted has to collect receipts for the use of cash from the fund as they are required when replenishing the fund. In this step, journal entries are not recorded. As for the last stage, which is to replenish the fund, the remaining cash in the fund is calculated and the cafe will write a check for the total amount of the expenditures, which will restore the fund to its original balance. According to the report, the fund needs $50 to be fully replenished. Therefore, a journal entry is made where three expense accounts are debited and cash is credited as it decreases. Sometimes, when the receipts are not collected properly or incorrect change occurs, a temporary cash over and short account is needed. This account may have a debit or credit balance depending on the situation. In my example, Ted receives an incorrect change of $5 while buying milk for the cafe. Therefore, this $5 will revolt in the cash over and short account. If the total amount of the expense is greater than the amount needed to replenish the fund, cash over and short account is credited. But in this case, cash over and short account is debited as the amount necessary to replenish the fund is greater than the expenditures. Thank you for listening to my screencast. Created using Powtoon.